I'm here with Logan Forsyth, but it's actually John Logan Forsyth Jr. How did you get to be Logan? Um, I think it was just because I was named after my father. He goes by John, and I think it was easier on my mom to <laughs> have another name in the family, so she just called me Logan. What do you think about that? I like it. Okay. I like Logan. Uh, I do too. I think it's a good name. All right, you were born in Memphis? Yes. Okay, what was what was like growing up in Memphis? You ever go to Graceland or anything? Uh, you know what? I can't remember going to Graceland, <laughs> even though most people from Memphis don't really go to Graceland that much. But, um, yeah, it was nice. You know, small neighborhood. Yeah. Um, a lot of neighborhood friends, um, always outside, playing all kinds of pickup games, basketball, football, baseball. Um, it's kind of the everyday thing. How did you get your start in baseball? Uh, my father. Um, he got me in when I was about three or four years old and just kind of went from there. Now you went to the University of Arkansas. Mm -hmm. So did your mom. Yes. Was that coincidence or was that something you were trying to do is following her footsteps there? No, I mean, we wasn't really trying to follow her footsteps. Yeah. It was just kind of, uh, I don't know, we wanted, I wanted to go to SEC school and uh, we got a couple offers from Ole Miss and Mississippi State and uh, a couple of the guys talked to us but Arkansas showed some good interest. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they had the best offer for me and it fit. Coming out of college, when you were drafted by the Padres in 2008, what was that? What was that moment like for you? What, what do you remember about it? Uh, it was a really good memory. Um, had all my family there in Fayetteville with me. Uh, my brother actually got to he got to fly out. He was playing summer ball yeah. actually, and uh, he got to fly out for a couple of days and had a couple of my buddies that were on the team, and uh, we had a big barbecue and uh, it was a good times, good people. And uh, when my name got called, you know, it was just a big dog pile in the middle of the living room. It was fun. It's amazing. All right, you were called up last year. You ended up playing a lot, most of the year, majority of the year, mm -hmm. although you went back and forth a few times. What was that like for you? What, what did you take away from last year? Oh, I learned a lot last year. Um, a lot of guys helped me out, just kind of the everyday routine, um, you know, kind of getting a feel for how things are run around here and getting comfortable with that. Um, it was tough, you know, at first, you know, doing the, the pinch hit thing, the spot starts here and there, but it was, uh, it was definitely worth, you know, sitting on the bench and listening to guys talk about the game and watching great players play. Fast forward to this spring training. Mm -hmm. You're having a very promising spring training, and then all of a sudden you get a fractured left foot. Yep. Frustrating, right? Yeah, it was uh, it was really frustrating. Um, had a great off season. Yeah. Um, everything was healthy coming in, and, you know, the first week, you know, started feeling something, and this first year I actually, you know, had a chance to, you know, win a spot. So, yep. That was, the, I think, that was the more frustrating part. Is I wasn't able to play with the guys and um, wasn't able to show what I worked for, you know, in the off season. But it's good now. Yeah. I'm here, and you know, now it's time to roll. You're here, and being a utility player, I know you, you know you played second, third, shortstop. Yep. I'm sure you love being out in the field, no matter what it is. But what position excites you the most, or that you feel you're most comfortable in? Uh, most comfortable. I mean, it, it's got to be third. I mean, I grew yeah. up playing third, but. Um, no, it's definitely exciting. I mean, because I feel comfortable in all three positions now, and uh, it's not now. It's not you know. I don't get frustrated with oh, I'm playing this and this, and like I was in the minors. You know, when I get up here, it's I'm playing. I'm playing. You know, I'm excited. So exactly, it's, it's whatever I can do. You know, to you know, give my pitcher confidence and you know, make the plays behind him and do things right. And doing that, does it also kind of help you being in different positions, like knowing just kind of the more the field more and more of what's, what's oh, going to happen? Yeah, definitely. I mean, the more versatile you are, the better. Yeah. Um, so you know, it's just you gotta you gotta look at the positives. There's too much you know, there's too much failure in this game. But, you yes. Know, look at the negative parts of the game. Just look at the positives. You know, you're playing to play that position. Well. Play ball. If you weren't a major league baseball player, you'd be a. Um, probably a fisherman. A hundred dollars in your pocket. You're at the mall. What are you getting? Um, what would I get? I don't know. Um, nice meal if I was hungry. Yeah. Um, I'll probably get some uh, new stuff to go on the road with. What's your idea of a perfect off day? Perfect off day, uh, nice breakfast, and um, being out on the water somewhere. Last meal on earth, what's it going to be? Ooh, it's probably going to have to be something my grandmother cooks me. Um, pretty much whatever she throws on the table, I'll eat. She's like unbelievable. It. What's one of your favorite grandma's meals? Uh, her desserts are unbelievable. Probably oh. the banana pudding is. One thing on your bucket list? Uh, Scott Oven. I like it. Yeah. Hey, very cool. Logan, thank you so much. Uh, thank you.